Hello, welcome to Word Plone Day. We are going to talk about Plone running in containers. So, first of all, we would like to present you the new generation of Plone Docker images. So, we have Plone Backend, Plone Frontend, Plone Zio, and Plone AJ Proxy. Uh, Plone Backend is the Plone. Uh, Classic UI for uh, Plone 6 and the backend also for Plone 6. For, for 5 to 7 is the usual Plone uh, installation. Plone frontend is the latest Volto version or the latest frontend for Plone 6. Plone Zio, if you're running Plone in a Zio environment with multiple uh, clients, and uh, AJ proxy if you want to to distribute the load uh, among the backends. So first of all, Plon six backend. How do I run it? Quite easy. Docker run minus it minus e site equals Plon. In here, it's important because every time the Docker image find the the the, the container finds the environmental variable site it's going to create a new uh, Plone site if one is not available yet. And then forwarding port 8080 from the container to the host using the Plone slash Plone backend image on version 6.0.0 alpha 4. Later this month, there's going to be a, a 6.0.0 beta version and so on and so forth. How do I run? the full Plone 6 experience with uh, Docker Compose. This is the example of a Docker Compose.yml file with only a front-end and a back-end. So image, you use Plone front-end 15.4.0 or 15.5.0, that's the latest version. In here, we set the environmental variable to tell the front-end image where to look for the back-end. We are exporting the port 3000, and the front end depends on the back end. So the back end needs to be up and running for the front end to be considered live. And then we also use in here the Plone backend 600 alpha 4 ver uh, uh, image, also passing the environmental variable site uh, named Plone. So the whole uh, installation already starts with. Uh, a Plone site created. I strongly recommend you to try this. If you run Docker Compose uh, pointing to a file like this, then open your browser, go to localhost port 3000, and everything is going to work. But what if I want to use Plone saving the data in a Postgres database? So here, Another example of a Docker Compose file, same thing for front-end, back-end. The difference now is in the back-end, we set the environmental variable for the rail storage DSN, pointing where to find the database. And the back-end also now depends on the database. In here, we are using the latest Postgres, creating already a database with user plone, password plone, database plone. Of course, this is an example for a live environment. You are going to, to tighten security in here. You do not need to expose uh, ports for everything. It's just uh, an example of how you can get up and running with Plone 6 and a Postgres database in no time. It's important that these images were, were created thinking about you configuring them with environmental variables. In here, bringing back the uh, the previous example, you have the Hazo internal API path pointing to backend port 8080 80 slash plone. Uh, the backend image in here creating already a site and pointing to the Postgres database with the rail storage DSN. There are many, many more uh, configuration options. You can test the Plone front end with a specific uh, Volto add-on if you want. You want to, uh, if you want to also to test the backend with specific 
uh, add-ons, you can also do it. I strongly recommend you take a look at the documentation. We are going to point that in a second. And how do I create my own, for instance, backend image? Imagine I have uh, uh, my, my repository and inside the repository, I have a SRC folder with the Python package that I want to, to install like a polis package to configure my site. Everything I need to do is uh, create a new Docker file inheriting from uh, the Plone backend image, copy the source folder, and then using pip install it in the, in the, in the image. If you want to know more about these images, first thing, Plone backend, github.com slash Plone slash Plone backend. You can also find it on Docker Hub. Just go there. Same thing for Plone frontend, github.com slash Plone slash Plone frontend, and also available on, on Docker Hub. The documentation will be available, the most up-to-date documentation will be available on 6.0 dev-docs.plone.org. This work will be done mm, during the Beethoven spring that happens uh, from May 2nd to May 7th. But this is going to be the place for you to, to see other examples and documentation about how to persist your data and so on and so forth. You can always ask questions on the forum community.plone.org. And you can also join us on our Discord. Visit us there. There's always someone in the installers team that actually created all these images available to help you. And uh, shout out to Jens Klein, Aline Voinea, Silvio Tomatis, Steve McMahon, T. Kim Niguyen, and Eric Andre for keeping this, uh, these images up and running. Thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoy Word Plone Day.